Yay. <laughs> That's her. Hi, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Hi, TikTok. Hi, guys. Cattery. Welcome. Corpus Christi, Texas. Welcome in. I'm going to scoot this over so I can grab this. Here we go. Hello. Welcome in, y'all. Oh, we got a kitten coming. Oh, my goodness. Hi. You'll notice I picked the black and white. Yes. Hi, little baby. Well, now the calico's Look. crying. Look. <laughs> Look at all the people, all the people looking at the baby. I know, little baby. Oh, she's purring. Oh, yeah. She's purring. Yeah, look at that. Hi. Hey, brother and sister. Hi, Hi babies. <laughs> she's purring so loud. Hi, guys. Hello, Devin. Hi, Becky. Hi, Nora. Hi, Philip. Look at that. Look at her little eye mark. He just wants to go, go, go. He's like, gotta go, bye. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the Cattery After Dark. We're going to be live for an hour, so come on in and get comfy. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Priscilla. Hello, everyone. Hello, Carly. Who are these cute little kittens? That's a great question. They don't have a cage card. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. They're in the unnamed. Thank you for the heart, me and the roses. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Heather. Hello. <laughs> so good to see everybody. It is the end of January, and as many of you know who come week after week, I normally moderate the comments on Facebook, so there won't be a Facebook moderator tonight, uh, but I will do my best to keep up with the comments as you make them and so try behave. and answer. Yeah, behave. behave, Facebook. Nobody's watching you tonight. <laughs> I know. Hi, TikTok. Oh, Gabriella, we are located in Corpus Christi, Texas. We're a no-kill cage-free cat shelter in Texas. We go live on Tuesday nights to give you guys a tour of the shelter and answer your cat questions. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, so come hang out. Thanks for following us. Oh, thank you. like my hat. This is Robbie's hat. I borrowed it. <laughs> I have a little bit of, a little bit of um, like hat hair today, so we're just doing a hat. <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, Emily. How are you, Rose? Thank you for the heart meet. Thank you for the roses. Hi, everybody. Guys. Thank you for coming in. Facebook. Good question. Kitten season is whenever it's warm. <laughs> whenever it's warm. <laughs> Kitten season starts now with yeah. the mama and the daddy <laughs> coming together in a special way. Yeah. And around March, we will start to see a lot of kitten births. Yes. Those kittens will then have to be housed and taken care of and spayed and neutered and vaccinated, and they won't really be available for adoption until May. Right. So along the way, you know, there's always kittens being born. We yes. have kittens right now. Lots of kittens. Uh, lots of kittens. <laughs> we had, uh, how many adoptions we have this week? 32. 32 adoptions. 32 adoptions this um, week, guys. So lots of kittens, kittens born all the way through the year. But there's nothing <laughs> like official kitten season April, May for us. We actually have three in a year. Three, yeah, three kitten seasons. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, thank you, Shay. I wanted to do a little red lip tonight. Um, guys, today is two dollar Tuesday. If you want to donate for two dollar Tuesday, we are actually raising money for two special cats that came to our shelter just this past week. Actually, just like two yesterday. Wow. <laughs> well, one of them yesterday. Mrs. Claus came to us in December. Skipper came to us yesterday from another rescue. Um, so Mrs. Claus is FLV positive. That means she has feline leukemia. Um, but what the main issue is, she has a big mass on her side. Um, so we're going to be talking two masses. Yeah, we found another one. We're going to talk about that later. Mrs. Claus, um, she went to the vet today. So did Skipper. So we do have an update for you guys. If you want to donate and get a shout out during the live, hold on. You can do so by donating through Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal while we're live. Okay? Did I grab the phone? I didn't. We have to get the phone. We need the it's across the way. Yeah, across the way, grab the phone. Carrie's doing really good. Thank you for asking. Um... Carrie was one of our $2 Tuesdays uh, just two weeks ago. And honestly, guys, in the last two weeks since we started treatment, Carrie has been just improving so massively. I actually have an update video for you guys of Carrie that's going to be going live tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning. I'm really excited for you guys to see it because she looks so good, you guys. You guys really helped her. Um, so 
That's why we asked for $2. Every dollar makes a difference, guys. It does not matter how much you can give. If it's a dollar, two dollars, if it's more, that's awesome. Deli says they sent 10 for Skipper. Thank you so much. Lynn says she donated earlier for both kitties. I really appreciate you guys. Um, we really can't do this without you. So, oh. <laughs> yay, we found the phone. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, you Venmo, thank you. All right. We're gonna go into the adult room first. Yes, we will go into the adult room. Oh, Lynn donated for Mrs. Claus and Skipper earlier. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Lynn, so much for your kindness. We appreciate it. Did Cattery Dad bring Thank you, <laughs> Did Cattery Dad bring breakfast sandwiches for the rest of us? <laughs> yeah, no, you? I didn't. Did uh, that breakfast sandwich the other day was actually a present for me. But thank you for coming in uh, to cover for some people who were sick. Uh, yeah, that's, they remember everything. They do. We should do that. Can we see Chester? Yes, we will see Chester. Thank you. We're located in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, we just entered the adult room. These are the kitties who are going to be a year and older. And everybody is spayed or neutered. They're microchip vaccinated, dewormed, and tested for FIV and FLV. And look at this baby right here, just on top. This lovely calico. Thank you, Oh, my goodness. She loves this tree. She was there yeah. yesterday, too. Like, this is her spot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Such a cute tree. Just so stunning, striking, just that dark, dark black and orange with the <laughs> white and then her eyes. Just, just her really beautiful. <laughs> uh, so there would be debate about is she a calico or she... is she a tortoise shell with white? Tortie. She is a tortoise shell with white officially. With white. Uh, even though she has the three different colors that are distinct, the white is not spread throughout the body. Right. So she would actually be, yeah, like Farrah. Who's naked. Um, who's naked, <laughs> who's shaved, Thank but you. you can see that the white predominates throughout the body and the orange and the black they're is in, mixed they're in, in. They're like in their own spots. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so Thank she's you actually, you know, just barely calico, but she has the three colors. So some people say three colors automatically calico. Eh, we could debate it. Um, I won't <laughs> argue. She's a beautiful calico if she is a calico. Oh, yeah. I love her. I think it's, um, it's the modeled. Yeah. Model. Oh, right. Uh, I actually have a tortie with white at home. It's a male tortie. Uh, he also has white. Uh, he looks a lot like her, just less white. Um, but yeah, we. I, if I post him online, we always get into debates about it. It's always fun. Thank you for the Venmo. Tortie go. A tortie with white calico. Heather, we are praying for your for your mom. Hope she gets better soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, Pitt says hi, and the chapters of the hi, book Pitt's. are in the mail. Oh wow! Which means excited. Katie, you got some re reading to do. Awesome. I love reading. How do you know I love to read? Guys, we have a couple donations to read already. You guys are really um, showing up for Skipper and Mrs. Claus today. Yay! So, first of all, we have Drew Gutter sent $5 for Skipper. Yay! Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Drew. Bill Beasley sent $2. Thank you so much, oh, Bill. Oh, cool. Thank you, Bill. Deirdre, I'm sorry, Deidre? Deidre? I'm sorry, Deidre. I said your name wrong. <laughs> I speak phonetically. <laughs> Deidre, thank you for your $2 donation for Skipper. Yay, $2. Amy, we love it. Thank you so much. Amy, we have a $5 donation from you, sent from Crazy Cat Lady and Tamsin for the kitties. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. It's awesome. Every dollar helps. Every, Every dollar, dollar helps. It takes, it takes all of us. You guys always come together and help us support the needs of these cats that come into <laughs> us. And if I can for just a second... <laughs> Without tripping on a kitty. Um, yeah, I don't want to get that. Look how cute. I know. Isn't they that all awesome? love this tree. It's full all the time. There's mm -hmm. always cats all over it. It's so funny. Um, another donation is from Audrey Sleeth. Thank you so much for your donation, Audrey. Hey, Audrey. Awesome. Thank you so much. Taryn De, De Alessandro sent $10 for baby Skipper. Thank you, Yay, Taryn. Yay, Taryn. He Hi, is Cadence. so cute. I know. Oh, my God. Skipper. If you haven't seen his video yet, please go check it out. Skipper is very, very cute. He's scratching. That snow cone. Look how cute she is. I love tabbies. They're so pretty. Yeah, there's Porthos. We're doing good. How are you doing? Uh, Christina. Christina or Christina. I'm assuming it's Christina. Thank you so much for your donation for Skipper. Thank you. Rebecca Scholl sent $10. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That's Yay. awesome. Awesome. Thank you for the 10. What breed is Snow One? 
I don't know what you mean. I don't know what the snow Snowball? Is. Oh, snow cone. Snow, snow cone. cone is a domestic short hair, but we, um, her coat coloring is called tab, uh, tabby. Mm -hmm. She's actually a spotted tabby. She's got spots. See all the spots on so her? Pretty. They're not solid lines going up and down. Yeah. You can see the spots throughout her body. So yeah. she's a spotted tabby. She actually is a spotted brown tabby with orange. Yeah. She's you can pretty. see some of the orange in the undercoat there. She's all like my cat. Yeah. She's know. awesome. Will you be taking new fosters anytime soon? Ivy, I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, oh, you know what? I did see your message earlier. If we're taking fosters when kitten season starts. I think it's, um, we don't really have a foster program. We take in foster people as they find cats, sort of. But um, I don't know. Send us an email. That's the best thing to do. Send us yeah, an send email. Us an email. Info at more. the catterycc.org. Yeah, because I don't know the answer. <laughs> Porthos is life goals. I know. Circle. <laughs> chubby and worshipped by minions oh <laughs> well he's got both of those he's working on that he's, he's oh, got right. both i worship oh, i worship him he's so great um okay oh, another donation from don tillery thank you so much for your five dollar donation don yay don thank heather, you heather montague sent ten dollars a late christmas gift for mrs claus thank you so much heather that is so cute Nora Peluso sent $20. Thank you so much, Nora, for any kitty awesome. who needs it. Thank oh, you, got Nora. Lots of kitties who need yeah, it. we do. But mm -hmm. the, the, the vet bills for these two are, yeah. going, are going to mount They're going up. up. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, we'll give we'll, you guys an update in just we'll, a second. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Lindsay Conan sent $5 for Skipper. Thank you, Lindsay. Grace sent $5. Give those toe beans smooches. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Uh, Ashley Armbruster sent $20. Please get some comfort for poor girl. Yes, ma'am, we will. We will. And Amber... Hey, Ash Ashley, Ashley yeah. Armbruster, do you have a family in Kentucky, uh, Phil Armbruster? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yep. Is Sam here? Sam is here in the chat. Or you mean old man Sam? That's old man Sam. Oh, yeah. We've, old. Got, we've got Sam in the chat. She's our one of our moderators tonight, but we've also got... Sam in the litter box. That's right. We, we'll move away <laughs> as he as he really enters the litter box. Amber Blazon sent four dollars for Skipper Look and at Derek. Sarah, there Amber, she Amber, thank you so much, Derek. Thank you for your ten dollars donation for oh. our local kitties. Thank you so much, Derek. Hi. Um, I'm here. She's here. She's here. How do you donate? I'm happy to show you. Let me um set down some of my stuff. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Hold on. Please hold. Fair. Oh, I was gonna give it to Fair. <laughs> Scott got it. That's how you donate, guys. We have Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. Every dollar helps. Uh, and if you donate during the live, we will do a shout-out for you on the live. Yes, please start a rescue in North Carolina. That sounds great. Absolutely. Where in North Carolina? <laughs> Where in North we Carolina? We love North Carolina. Um, there are some rescues already in North Carolina, and so uh, we can always use more. There's always more cats to help. Um, Hi, and people. so, yeah. Look at that Love toe. to hook you up with anybody that we already know. Look at that toe. No. Look at the little it's one ring finger. black toe right there in the She's midst got a of ring life. on. <gasps> Somebody put a ring on you. <laughs> Why didn't oh, you ask oh, me? It was fluffy. I need permission. I didn't give him my permission. <laughs> yeah, you didn't ask the cat dad. What yeah. are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm hiding it. <laughs> it literally looks like a ring. Thanks for following us, Sarah. Oh, um, right. Okay, so let's see here. Let's talk about, let's talk about Skipper. What happened with Skipper today? All right. Let me let me swap. Let me hand this to you. Just one second. My papers are mixed up. We've got an update, guys, but I don't want to mess it up. So we've got a we've got a sheet, a cheat sheet to help y'all. Okay. So Skipper, if you guys saw the video earlier, Skipper has um like a she has like a little bum foot. That's what I was calling it. It was her bum foot. It's like a little. It looks like a catcher's glove. That's what Sam described it. It's like a huge mitt. Okay. Um, she's not walking on it. She's not really putting pressure on it. She kind of hops when she walks. It's but, kind of tucked under, curl, yeah. curled and tucked and it's under. it's floppy. She mm -hmm. can't control it. It's just floppy. Right. So what happened today at the vet? Skipper um, apparently has no breaks in her arm or paw, which is really good. Yay! Yay! She got an anti-inflammatory to help with swelling and an antibiotic shot, and we will check her again in a week. Um, so we'll keep you guys updated on her progress and what's going on with her uh, as, you know, as we find out more information, we're going to keep an eye on her. Uh, especially over the next week while we see what happens with her foot. Um, it's still possible we'll need to, you know, amputate it, but we're going to try not to. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we're we not chop happy. We want to keep her foot if possible. Um, you know, because if it's not bothering her, if it ends up being fine, then if there's no reason to take it off, we won't. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated on that. 
okay? So thank good you. good news on Skipper. Very good news. I think that's great news. Thank you, thank you. No break, no immediate need for amputation. We are going to treat it with anti-inflammatories. Um, yeah. Antibiotics. antibiotics to try and clear out any infections that are in there and we'll monitor and take her back in a week yeah so that'll be good well no more in a week y'all <gasps> it's bath time is it bath time it's Saffron? bath time hi hey, Sephra. how are you go yeah uh -huh. <laughs> why are you interrupting my bath Excuse me. yay for skipper weekly stars for dapper <laughs> dan we will go see dapper dan after a while yeah we'll see dapper dan towards the end you guys yep. happy tuesday everybody i'm just scrolling through some of the comments uh, oh, Talia. Hi, Natalia. How are you doing? Pretty girl. Oh, All right. Skipper is so cute. Yes, Skipper is adorable. The toe. The toe. We're going to call that the toe. The toe. Yes. Donated earlier for Mrs. Claus. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for your donation. Thank you. Devin, thank you for being here. We will, I promise you, we will go see Chester in a little bit. Um, you can't get used to Farrah's haircut. I can't either. And to be honest, <laughs> to be no. honest, there's two things about Farrah's new haircut. Number one, she is so nice, She's which she was always nice, but she was always like trying on to edge. dominate yeah. and, and on edge and things like that. She plays so much, which she always played, but she's more free with it now. Yeah, she's more um, and the second thing is her fur is so soft. Like when it was long, it felt a little wiry. Oh. It didn't feel soft, <laughs> but her fur is so soft right now. It like is really just amazing. Yeah, like a bunny. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for your donation, guys. So, yep, Shelly. Wand. I know these wands are so good. Anakin really loves this one. Look at him. Ooh. There Ooh, we go. So cute. Oh, look at this. Yeah. We're just gonna set up right here. And watch the kitties play. <laughs> Fun in the adult room. We love the adults. You know, adults get overlooked so often uh, in favor of kittens, and we all understand why. Kittens are cute, but adults are cute, and these adults have a lot of love to give, but they also play. Yes, they do. They're also active. They're moving around. They're playing, they're having fun, they interact with each other, they interact with humans that come in, with potential adopters. <laughs> Are you doing that on purpose? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's called multitasking. There we go. There we go. Mary, hey. thank you so much for your $2 donation, Mary. Cat Moon sent $5 with love. Thank you so much. Yay, Mom. Cat. Jane Barbell sent $2 for Chester and Friends from Devin and Sammy. Thank you so much, Devin and Sammy. <laughs> Jessica Morris sent two dollars for Skipper. Candace Yay! Sent two dollars for the kitties. Thank you, Jessica and Candace. Thank you. Christine <laughs> sent two dollars. Thank you, Christine. Mary, uh, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a double. Maybe you said it again. Mary, thank you so much for your two dollar donation for Skipper again. Amy Farrell sent two dollars for Skipper's bum foot. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Amy. Bum foot. Bum foot. That's there what I like go. to call it. <laughs> yeah. How often do we change the cat trees? Honestly, as often as needed. Um, when they start looking kind of raggedy, we'll switch them out. But yep. we do our best to take really good care of them. Uh, you know, we brush them regularly. We keep them clean. Yep. Um, and we do keep quite a few because there's a, quite a few cats in here. So right. everybody's got a place to stay. And this one, this one right here is getting ready. We can shave this, uh, the, yeah, the sisal rope. Yeah. We can shave that down and it'll look nice and clean again yep. uh, for a while. It's on, so. the, it's on the project list. Yep. <laughs> so there's a lot of projects. Lots and lots of attention. Mm -hmm. Um Hi, who's Hi, old man Sam. What are you doing? You want to play? Are you just sitting in the corner? I know. You make some sand. Why there. isn't nobody paying attention to me? <laughs> you want to purr really loud for everybody? <laughs> Allison Flippelli, thank you for your $2 donation for Skipper and all the other kitties. Robin Lancaster sent $5. Thank you, Robin. Who is this? Who are you? Hi. You're so cute. Love your little polite sit. So polite. Mm -hmm. Very polite. Waiting his turn. <laughs> uh, Emily Collins sent $5 <laughs> for Skipper. Yay, $5. Thank you so much. David Mitchell sent 20, 20 for the kitties. Thank you nice. so much, David. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Lots of people donating. Yeah. Um, How to start a cat rescue? Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. We, she wants um. a series. <laughs> I feel like. You know. <laughs> 
It's it's been a long road. Yeah, we actually uh if you go back and watch the first episode in January of the Cattery After Dark, I was on it. I want to say it was like January 5th or something. It was whatever the first Tuesday was. We actually did about 10 minutes on starting a cat rescue. Oh yeah. Um we also have a podcast that's available on YouTube. Oh, uh, there's some information on that yeah. about starting a cat rescue. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, lots of information out there. I will send you some links, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. So we did. We did talk about it. And then we can, look at, we can look at doing some more kind of things or whatever. Um, and Sam may have something up her sleeve anyway. So. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Oh, yeah, I'm no sneaking in here. Look at this kitty underneath here. Oh, it's Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Daisy wants to play. She wants to play, but she doesn't want to come out and let other cats know that she wants to play. <laughs> She's very polite. She Look is. at those arms. <laughs> there you go. All Those right. So is human right? Richard crying over the missing cat, Richard? Yes, he is. Um, oh, did Richard get, oh, he did get yeah, adopted. Yeah, Richard got adopted. Uh, that's who's missing. Anakin was here, and I was like, I got my crazy energy, but I'm missing crazy Richard energy. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Anakin, you're so much fun. Such a cool baby. Okay, let's see. Um, trying to catch up on y'all. We got some. We got some requests for more podcasts. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a question: How do you stop the cat from nibbling when you're petting them? Ah, remove your hand. Your hand is not a place thing. Yeah, it's a so as long as you continue to pet the cat uh, and play with it, uh, that includes pushing it away to try and stop it, and then letting it come back and continue, right? You actually want to take the cat. You want to put it down on the ground if you're up on the couch. You want to stop interacting and giving it that positive interaction because even negative interaction is what the cat is seeking. It's attention. And so then you teach the cat that that negative attention is good. Right. And so you just want to kind of put a stop to it. You want to say no. You want to say it kind of forcefully, and then you want to stop interacting. And then when they start behaving appropriately, you want to praise them and pet them and give them the positive reinforcement for the good behavior. (laughs) There you go. There's my answer. Positive reinforcement. Don't give them your fingers. Fingers are not true for you. That's right. Get a wand. Look at this. This this calico is just... There's something about her. She's so dainty. I know, but there's just something about the way she moves and everything. <laughs> She's used to Anakin. Uh, I, I think they were together. They were roomies at one point. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Any other oh, questions? You have some donations. Y'all are donating like crazy. This Thank is, you. Um, okay. <laughs> does Dapper Dan know we borrowed one of his wands? Yeah. Uh, he does watch these from time to time, and so I'm sure a write-up will be on its way. <laughs> yes, Heather, we will go see Princess Cecily, Mason, and Dapper Dan. Darian, thank you so much for your $10 donation for Skipper and others. Sarah Garcia, thank you for your $2 donation for Skipper. Greg Paul, thank you for your $10 donation for the cat's needs. I appreciate you. Uh, Cynthia Swan at $10 for Skipper. Thank you, Cynthia. You have a tuxedo cat? I love that. Thank you. Natalie Tony sent $10. Thank you so much, Natalie. And Daniel, if I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. Thank you for your donation. Any orange kitties? Yes, there's Arlene over there. Oh, yeah. That's Arlene. She's a spicy orange girl cat. And old man Sam. Old man Sam. There's sunflower, too. The orange and white back there. That's sunflower. Lots lots of of orange kitties hanging out. Yep. Lots of black and whites. (laughs) Uh, 2023 was the year of black and white cats. Yes. We, uh, had a lot of black and whites. Definitely a lot. Every of year cats. tends to have kind of one color that predominates. Yeah. We had a lot of 40s one year too. I don't know what you Oh, yeah. It's like every cat was a 40s cat. <laughs> Hi, Rosa. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nina, thank you for your $2 donation. Steven, thank you for your $20 donation. April, thank you for your donation. Annie, thank you for your donation for Skipper. Thank you. Bobby, thank you for your $6 donation for Skipper. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. (laughs) Star, thank you for your $2 donation for Skipper. It really warms our hearts when you guys donate like this. To, to It helps us to obviously take care of the cats and, yeah. and pay for their care. Hi. But it just kind of reinforces that we're doing something good. We're doing something right. And you all are affirming that for us. And so we really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad that they found you, that your cats were dumped during COVID, now they're your family. Cats really are family, they're so... I don't know what my house would be like without cats, for sure. <laughs> Connie, thank you for your donation. And Megan, uh, thank you for your donation for Skipper. Yay, Connie and Megan, thank you for your donations. We love it. Thank you guys so much. How is Delta? Uh, she's doing good. Um, she is no longer in the room. She's taking a little vacation to ringworm. Uh -huh. Ringworm on her ear. Delta is on a little bit of a vacation, getting a little bit of medicine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. She is healthy. It's nothing serious. Yeah, uh, so fine. we'll she'll be back here shortly. It's just a little spot. It's just, there's a lot of cats, guys. You don't want to spread this stuff around. <laughs> Not during the day. No, you must. Otherwise, I don't know when you're sleeping. <laughs> ah, Ginger, we'd love to have you come volunteer. We actually just had a volunteer orientation <laughs> over the weekend. Uh, Pay attention to our social media. We do post and publish when we do volunteer orientations. Uh, and we'd love to have you come out, go through the orientation, and then be able to volunteer with us. Hi, baby. Anakin, you're a little much. You're a little too crazy. I see your fangs. Look at his fangs. His fangs poke out of the bottom. Heather, some of you guys are already volunteering just by the role that you guys play on social media. Uh, making comments and providing information. Uh, so many of you come week after week after week and you've come to learn our organization and know what we do and know what some of the answers are. And a lot of times you're answering questions before I get a chance. Uh, so uh, I think that's wonderful. I love the community. I love the fact that you guys care enough to learn and know things about us. Um, and help other people come to know and understand us as well. So that's that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing the live, Nora. sweet boy. I love you, poor boy. Look at him. Look at him. Such a handsome boy. Guys, thanks so much for tapping your screens and his likes. We're almost at 10,000. That will help us reach more people. It's a free way to get involved. Um, you can also share the live if you don't mind. There's Enola. Enola's our cat of the week. Look at her. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Uh, any low-cost space, uh, low space coming soon? Uh, yeah, we always we have a low-cost, high-quality spay-neuter clinic. Uh, we basically, every week, are doing low-cost spay-neuter surgeries. Sometimes they are free. Sometimes we have grants that make them ridiculously cheap, right? Because the grant helps to cover the cost. Uh, but they're always a lower cost, but still high-quality. Um, and so we have a Cattery Spay Neuter Clinic uh, Facebook page, yeah. and we post on, so on social media what the schedule is. So if you have any questions about that, you can write info at thecatterycc.org and ask for what our schedule is and what if, if we have any grants that you might be eligible for. So love to help take care of you uh, and cats in your neighborhood. Personal or otherwise. Lily, she's our oldest kitty. Yeah. Hi, baby. I know, Lily. Good girl. You hear her purring? Probably not. I can't hear over old man Sam. He's purring so loud. Yeah, Lily. Good girl. I know. No, Lily's 18. Yeah. Lily's an older lady, but yes. really super, super sweet. We love her. We are in Corpus Christi. We are the cattery. Who did you adopt from us? Yeah. How do we donate? Oh, good question. Good I question. I can assist you with that. It's over here. Okay. All right. I'm going to flip this around and we'll get this shot here. Venmo, oh, cash sure. PayPal. You're going to jump down here right go. when I do that. You want to take a peek? Yeah. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, guys. That's how you donate to the cattery. If you donate during the live, we will do a shout out for you. Take a screenshot. Three, two, one. Okay. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, Skipper again. Someone asked how Skipper's doing. If you're just joining from the videos we posted today, Skipper is doing good. She went to the vet today. She has no breaks in her arm or her paw, which is great. Um, she did receive an anti-inflammatory and antibiotic shot. We'll check her again in a week, you guys. We're going to keep you updated on how she's doing. So if you're not following us, make sure you follow us so you don't miss out on that. Um, especially if you want to know how Skipper is doing, how Mrs. Claus is doing, how, how Miss Carrie is doing. That's I had people right. asking about Carrie earlier. She's doing really good. 
we'll see her after a while too. Yeah, we're gonna go see Carrie at the end. You guys, if you wanna go see Carrie, she's so sweet. She's looking so good. Yeah. Hi, Lily. You're still I'm pretty. so happy. Now we can turn this around and get this shot. There we go. There's Hi, Eileen. baby. Hi, baby. You know, you give nice kisses. <laughs> yeah, hit the rose goal, guys. Make sure you share the live. Tap your screen for free likes. Um, the plastic cat tree is called a caranda. Mm -hmm. Get them online. Page. Oh, really nice. If uh, Katie was just on TikTok talking about the Karanda Towers, yeah. these uh, these are plastic, sturdy. very sturdy cat trees. The cats really love them. They're adjustable. There are different heights you can get. Um, this vinyl is very easy to clean and maintain. Uh, we have had these particular Karandas for a large number of years. I can't even say six years, eight oh, years. Wow. Something like that. Um, I, I still remember putting them together. Learning how to put them together was a little bit of a challenge. But once you get the hang of it, and it wasn't that difficult, um, really just a great addition to your house. Uh, or if you have an office or something like that, or maybe you have a, a, a work environment where you guys take care of cats. 2011. It could be 2011. It could be that long. Um, and we wash these all the time. <laughs> every every day we are washing these down because cats are climbing on them, uh, and you can just see how sturdy that is. We haven't had to change that. We've, we've moved um, these from the other shelter yeah. too. I mean, so. they must have moved a couple times then, maybe. Let no, me show you a cute months. cat instead of looking at the blue of the vinyl. That's Bobby. Hi, Bobby. They've seen eight thousand cats. Sam said. Yeah. They've seen eight thousand cats, and they're still strong. They're not wobbly. They're they're great. Yeah. The cats love them. We love I it. I love this stacked tier. Um, yeah. Especially for like the older cats, if they can't jump onto that, they just go back and forth like a little steer. Right. It's really cool. They just start down here, then yep. they go here, then they go here, they it's go awesome. here, they go here, here, here. I love here, it. Yeah. Stacking cats. Yep. It's my favorite thing. So we love it. All right. Uh, teen room. Oh, yeah. Let's go to teen room. Uh, guys, do you have all your papers? I think so. Okay. I think I have a, do I have a phone? No, phone's here. Phone's here. Okay. All right. Let's go see the teens, guys. We never give them enough love when we always miss out on the teens. I always feel like we rush and rush and rush and then we don't get to see teens. We got lots of teenagers in there. So I'm going to turn the phone around here and do a little sanitizing before we go in when we oh, switch yeah. rooms. Help maintain the environment. Help maintain the cats. Take care of things. All right, so we are going to go into the teen room. We do divide our cats out into these cage-free rooms, uh, primarily based on age. There is a little, some, a few other circumstances that warrant keeping a cat in a room or moving them to a different room. Uh, but for the most part, the room we're going into will be four months to a year old. Teenagers. Teenage cats, older kittens. Hi, babies. Look Hi, at that. Hi. Oh, there we go. There's Sorry. Mason, Heather. I just ran into the wall. <laughs> Hello, Mason. Hi, Mason. Megan, did your yeah. donation show up? I don't know yet. I will tell you as soon as I, as soon as I see. Mason yes. is, for those of you who don't know, Mason is a Manx cat, and that okay. is a naturally tailless cat. It's a genetic mutation that causes the tailless, uh, taillessness. However, in Mason's case, um, the base of the spine essentially fused a little bit too high, and he is now bowel and bladder incontinent, and that's why he's wearing a diaper. Um, yeah. So, um, but he is a wonderful, wonderful, sweet boy, very, very active in the room, always wanting to be with humans. He loves Taco Bell. He loves Taco Bell. <laughs> he doesn't get Taco Bell, but if we bring Taco right. Bell back, he goes crazy. He can smell it from a mile away, yep. I swear. Um, uh, thank you. Oh, dropping things. Um, Megan, I see your donation. Thank you so much for your donation, Megan. Uh, cats don't really get into fights, but this is a good segue into talking about our introductory cages. Um, well, let's, let me give you this and sweet. you can do that. Thank you. Uh, as you guys know, we are a cage-free shelter. That's what we talk about all the time. Um, but in order to be a cage-free shelter, we do have a system to make that happen. And it's called introductory cage. And this is an introductory cage. So... As you can see, the kitties uh, enter the room and they start off in the cage. They don't just get thrown into the room with all the other cats. Cats are territorial. They need time to adjust and um, kind of get comfortable in their environment before they're free. So each cat in the cages has their own food, water, litter, bedding, toys. Um, and they have like an open air kind of concept with the other cats, but they can't hurt each other or fight. 
they can smell each other, see each other, and it helps them adjust. Uh, they stay in there as long as they need. It's normally not very long. Sometimes it's a little bit long if they're if they're really not sure about the other cats. But it's it's pretty quick, especially in the teen room. The teens are usually pretty pretty uh, tolerant of each other. <laughs> you talk about position in the cage? Yeah. Okay. So Angel here, um, she is pretty close to the front of the cage, and that is usually a good indicator. She's almost ready to come out. She's not cowering in the back. She's not, you know, she's not hiding from us. She's curious. She's She wants to be out in the room. Yeah. And you too. You're actually pretty close to yep. ready as well. You looks like you spilled your food. I'll have to clean you up. Um, but yeah, so that's what those are. And that's how the cats really just don't get into a lot of fights. Um, they will have a spat every now and then. It's just not, like, I can't recall a single time that I've actually seen a huge, massive cat fight. You know what I mean? It's only been, like, little pissy pits is what I call just, them. <laughs> just a momentary thing. I'm <laughs> sitting on this bed, and you jumped on the bed, and I didn't want you here, I so I hissed at you. But then it's over. It's no. It's not really fighting. Um, it's not leading to injuries and things of that nature. Yeah, so beautiful. Um, yeah. And this is Frodo. Hi, Frodo. Oh, the comet's going away. Hang on. There we go. Dory. Yeah, Dory's in here. She's actually right here. Hello, Dory. Hi, Dory. Hi, Dory. There's Dory. Dory is one of our TikTok stars, one of our social media stars. You will uh, see and hear her voice. Um, she has the cutest little voice for a kitty. Every time I turn around, he's closer. Frodo is just amazing. His way across. Yep. Across the top. <laughs> love it, love so it, silly. love it. So silly. He's such a good boy. There's monkey. Monkey's good work today. She's a little shy. <laughs> Hi, monkey. Hi, monkey. I know. Good girl. I know. She's so great. I see you. Good girl, monkey. There's fireballs. Very soon. There's all ten. Lots of kitties in here that I actually know their names. I'm very proud mm -hmm. of myself right now. Yeah. Uh, we don't know that uh, Skipper officially has a club foot or anything like that. Yeah, I call it's, her bump. It's an injury, uh, we believe, or at least suspect it's injury related. Yeah. Um, and so, oh, there we go, baby. Nice monkey. Who? Oh, and Dory. Dory's sitting. <laughs> Look at Dory. Oh my goodness, Dory. Yep. Such a good girl, Dory. Hi. How are you? Fireball's very sweet, too. Yep. Polly. Hi. Hi, Polly. There goes Beth. <laughs> you know Beth is uh, Laramie's sister? Oh, wow. No. I know, right? Yeah. I just, just reread the notes and that. I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. They are so similar looking in the face. They have the same face. Orange cat love is the best. So this is an example. This is Polly. Polly's been, he's obviously not four months to a year. He is a full grown adult. He is a big boy. Um, really, really nice kitty. Really, really sweet. Uh, for a long time, was not really a fan of humans. No. <laughs> he was not feral. He was not a danger. He would yeah. not attack anybody or really try and do any damage. He just didn't want anything to do with humans. He would say, no, thank you. Um, but... At our cage-free, no-kill shelter, right, there's no clock on him. He gets to, to live out his life and come out of his shell when he wants. And in the last year or so, he has really started coming out of his shell, um, changing his attitude about humans. He does enjoy being petted now uh, and played with, brushed. brushed. But he probably will continue to live with us for a long time because he has a job here now. This tree is called Shy Cat Towers. And so, or I call it Shy Cat Towers. <laughs> These cats that come into the room that are a little bit less confident about themselves and, and living with other cats and things like that, they migrate to this tree. And what Polly will do is he will get over here and he will make friends with these guys. And he will <laughs> actually pull them out into the room and he will convince them that humans are nice and the room is friendly and a great environment and the other cats are nice and he will help get them adopted. And so Paulie has a very important job to do. 
uh, and he will probably live with us for the rest of his life, which is just <laughs> fine with him yeah, and George. just fine with us. She just flops. Yep. <laughs> so. He's snuggly, too. He likes his snuggly. There you go. Pets. Look at this baby right here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I know. You're going to get up and move, aren't you? Yeah, because I wanted to focus no, on you. <laughs> they, don't, they don't remember each other. They're fine. This is Fireball. No, this is Tito. This is Fireball's brother, Tito. Yep. He's so handsome. Hi, baby. He's a Hi, buff baby. tabby. Look at that. Polly oh, I is know. Polly. Polly is 10. He's 10 years old. He's been with us his whole life. Yep. Yep. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's 11? Did he turn 11? I thought he just turned 10. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He's he's over a decade old. Yep. He is more than a year. Yeah. So he, <laughs> he's he not a teenager. He should be out of the teenager room, but that's all right. He really does a good job uh, helping us socialize cats, so we love him. Did we miss his birthday? Oh, my God. We have did. to make up. He did have a birthday. Mm -hmm. We missed his 11th birthday party. This baby. Look at this baby. You are so cute. Mm hmm. Bye. Bye, Sprinkles. Bye, Sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's Chester. I found him. Oh, oh. just pop his eyes open. Chester, alert. He Hi, just didn't Chester. get a party. Oh. Hi, Chester. Oh, Chester. Good boy, Chester. Are you tired? Did you have a big day today? Very big day. Mm hmm. Yeah, Mandy didn't come say hi to him for his birthday. So, Devin, there's Chester. I'm going to get treats for the kitties. Okay. You guys want treats? I am going to get down here with the kitties. Let's see how that does. This is a problem. Oh, we have plenty of treats. I'll have to go get them. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave you guys in here. You can stay here with the kitties. Oh, there you go. I'll be right back. All right. So one of the nice things that I think about our organization, I'm watching this cat. That's the TikTok uh, phone right now that's showing the room. And there's a kitty that's messing with it. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Ugh. There you go. I'm going to pull this over here. All right. So hello, everybody on TikTok. I'm Scott. Um, we're going to try and get some kitties here in the shot for you. So you're not just looking at me. Let's look over at Polly a little bit. Hi, Polly. There you go. There you go. All right. We'll get everybody over there. Hi, baby. So one of the nice things about the cattery as an organization uh, is that we are able, because you guys support us this way, to be a support to other organizations. So, for example, Skipper came to us from another rescue. The space, and I was trying to get cats in, Sorry. but, you know, somebody's trying to open up a Temptations <laughs> bag. There you go. Here you go. It's very All right. exciting. Turn your camera around so okay. I can get you. All right, we'll turn this back around. But before, I'll finish my point before Katie distributes treats. Um, we're able to offer to do for other organizations things that they might not be able to afford to do for themselves. Right. And it allows them to focus more on their core mission yes. by us doing what we do and supporting them. And so one of the nice things about our organization is that we've really become a hub. It's a part of that community that we keep talking about and we keep talking about growing it's that community of support where everybody does a little bit here and a little bit there, and it really adds up. All right, you can give out treats okay. now. Treats. It's raining treats. May you ask why one cat has a diaper. You may ask. That's Mason. Mason Hello, Mason. Mason is a minx cat. If you've ever heard of a minx cat, they don't have a tail. That's Mason. But Mason, unfortunately, developed something called minx syndrome, which happens in minx cats sometimes, where um, his spine did not fully develop. You want treats? His spine didn't develop or it fused wrong or something happened on the inside because of the lack of tail that caused his internal organs to be all messed up. 
And so he can't control his bladder or bowels. He is what we call incontinent. So he does wear a diaper so he can live out in the room with the other cats, you know, mess free. Um, and he can use the bathroom whenever he needs to. He doesn't have to feel pressured to rush to a restroom if he can't make it, you know? So that's why he wears a diaper. Um, he's one of our disabled kitty cats here. And yeah, he's pretty great. Oh my God, Cappy Bears is here. Oh my gosh, hi, I'm such a big fan of you. Yay. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. I'm a huge fan of Cappy. Yes, there's a diaper, that's Mason. He has mink syndrome. <laughs> we have three diapered cats here at the rescue. Uh, Mason is one of them. We also have Dapper Dan, who's paralyzed. Um, and we have Cecily, who has also mink syndrome, but no back legs. Um, so yeah. We'll be seeing Dapper Dan uh, at the end. And Cecily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a really big fan. Like, I watch all your videos. I'm not kidding. I know. Cappy's here. Guys, say hi to Cappy. Hi, Cappy. Hi, Cappy. Cappy's mom, Katie, who is also, you know, I'm also named Katie. So, it's you know, it's a fun thing for me. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a minx. Um, he's a minx cat. He was born without a tail. Um, and unfortunately, he has minx syndrome. Um, so, he's got, you know, the poopies. Yeah, my name's Katie, too. I know. We are starstruck. I'm just, I'm just having the best day of my life right now. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. I know shooketh. That's the good word for it. Oh. Cappy is my favorite. I know Cappy's so great. Um, but yeah, no, we, we definitely. It's actually um, Cappy and Katie who convinced me that we need to like raise more awareness about disabled cats um, <laughs> online because there's so many out there, you know. And uh, Mason's just one of many. There's and so is Cappy, and there's so many cats that need. Um, extra help and they're still worthy of being adopted they're still worthy of homes they're still awesome animals um one of them might be skipper one, one of our of them might be skipper, one exactly. of our features for today skipper uh you guys don't know if you're just joining us skipper is one of the cats we're featuring for two dollar tuesday uh, she has a little a little um wonky foot um <laughs> so we're trying to but she went to the vet yeah she went to the vet no breaks bye thank you katie yeah she went she has no breaks in her arm um but she did uh, get some anti. Sorry, monkey, that hit her. Uh, she had to get some anti-inflammatory and um, antibiotic shots to get, you know, to see if we can keep her foot. We're trying to keep the foot if possible, um, but it's so possible it'll need to be amputated. So we'll have to, you know, keep an eye on it, guys. We'll keep you updated as long as you're following us. You'll be able to see, um, you know, is Cappy the orange cat or the tortie? Uh, Cappy, Cappy is. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, Cappy's orange. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the roses. Uh, the other cat, we haven't talked about Mrs. Claus enough tonight. So let's talk about Mrs. Claus. What do we do with her clipboard? It's on top of the closet. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. I can't see it from down here. There are donations to read. Awesome. All right. Let's read some donations and then we'll talk about Miss Claus. Sounds good. Guys, if you want to hit your shout out during the live, just send us uh, $2 to so Venmo we'll Cash Up or PayPal. You want to read them? Let's get this. Want me to read them? Yeah. All right. We've got, I don't know if I read these, so I'm going to read them again, y'all. Brooke, thank you so much for your donation for Skipper. Roger, thank you for your donation for Skipper. Gina, thank you for your donation for $2 Tuesday. Anna Vento sent $10. Chelsea Meyer sent $5. Uh, Lori Blanchard sent $5. Uh, Terry Carlson sent $20. Wow, awesome. Five. Thank you for the fives and the 20 and everything. <laughs> Chester's breaking into the truck. I know, I'm watching this. <laughs> Kelsey sent five dollars for Skipper. Thank you guys so much. Kelly Garcia sent eight dollars for two dollar Tuesday. Thank you so much, Kelly. And Amy sent two dollars for two dollar Tuesday. Yay! Thank you. I really like Skipper. I love that. Skipper's great. Skipper is cool. She's super. Cute. We did post a video about Skipper and his condition earlier today, so please take a look out for that. Hi, baby. Oh, look at look at what, what? Dory. Hi, Dory. Look Dory at those. Tester. Look at those eyes. I know. She's so cute. Yep. That face, those <laughs> eyes are just so amazing. Mason's going to get good treatment. I know. I see. Okay, guys. So the other kitty besides Skipper we have tonight is Mrs. Claus. Um, thank you so much, Becca. <clears throat> Becca says she donated for Skipper. Yay. Thank Mrs. you, Becca. Mrs. Claus is the cat we took in in December. Uh, so just a quick backstory. Um, Mrs. Claus came into our clinic as a feral, like a, a homeless loose cat, basically. And we were able to take in some of the cats from that day. Mrs. Claus was one of the cats we were able to take in. Um, and she had a big mass on her side. So we were like, oh, maybe we can help her out. So <laughs> we took Mrs. Claus in. Later on discovered she was positive for FLV. 
Um, and FLV, if you don't know, is feline leukemia virus. It is uh, not curable. You know, it's not really treatable either. It's sort of like a, they usually have two to six years to live um, after, you know, catching it. So it's not good. Um, but we want to make her as comfortable as possible. She's a wonderful cat. She's so snuggly. She's so sweet. Uh, <laughs> Mason perched on your leg is so cute. Um, but Mrs. Claus is really, really worth it. You guys, she's a wonderful cat and she deserves to be loved and, you know, taken care of while she's, you know, while she's here and while she's able. Um, so we took her to the vet today with Skipper. Um, I'm sorry, Rona. Hi, dollface. Uh, so we discovered another mass on Mrs. Claus today. Uh, Gray, we're actually not sure about that. Does she have progressive or regressive FLV? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure on that. I don't know what we're, how do you even test for it? Can you even test for it? I've never even heard of that. Um, so Mrs. Claus today got anti-inflammatories and antibiotics, kind of like Skipper did. Um, thank you so much, Todd. She'll most likely have surgery on both masses on Friday. So we're going to update you again on Mrs. Claus really soon. Um, keep you updated on what's going on with her while we treat her and try to figure out what's, what's going on with her. Um, yep. We're hoping that they're just infections that she's having trouble fighting because of her FLV. FLV will, you know, compromise her immune system, make it weaker. Um, so hopefully that's what it is, but we will keep you guys updated on that. Uh, okay, yeah, so positive is positive. Okay, got yeah. it. Mason looks cute with his uh, diaper, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see Snow Cone? So Snow Cone is in the adult room. Uh, we did feature her. We did focus on her for a little bit. So after this live is over, if you will go back and uh, watch the replay of it, um, in the first probably 10 minutes, you're going to see Snow Cone. Um, and you can fast forward around to get to get to where she yeah, is. Yeah, she's in the adult room. Yeah. So. She's so cute. She is. She's a wonderful, wonderful kitty. All right. I'm just scrolling oh. through here looking. Interesting. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, Mrs. Claus is definitely, uh, if you guys are able to donate $2 today, she is worth it as well, just as much as Skipper is. Skipper is a kitten, and Mrs. Claus is older, but she is wonderful. Mm -hmm. She's so snuggly, you guys. She is, you know, a stranger to nobody. She loves to cuddle. She doesn't care who you are. <laughs> Or what you smell like. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Lots of love for special needs kitty here, here on Facebook. Uh, we love them too. We love all cats. But there's something about the special needs kitties that just makes them a little bit sweeter. They try a little bit harder. I don't know exactly what it is. But uh, we love our special needs cats. And we yeah. take care of several of them here at the shelter. We do yeah. not. We are a true no-kill shelter. Yes. We don't look at somebody and say, you know what? Your medical expenses are going to be just too much. And so we're going to not take care of you. That's just not even an option for us. Right. Um, and, of course, you guys help make that possible. Exactly. Right? We can't do it without you guys. That's right. So we love it. We love you guys. Thank you so much. You need Mandy there to, to really distribute the cat treats correctly. Yes, Katie does not know how what? to properly that? give out cat treats. Who said that? Shelly. What the heck? Heather, congratulations. Heather, con Heather, congratulations on walking. Thank you so much for sharing. I love that you're doing that. Um, and, of course, we're praying for your mom, and I know she's getting better, so that's wonderful. She's um, okay. She's good. Yeah. She's just chilling tonight. Hi, baby. Look at this kitty. I love when they're just kind of hiding in some of the on. caves and looking out, looking around. This is Chester. He is a permanent resident. He also has somewhat of a disability. He has no teeth at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but he's a permanent resident, so it's okay. He could be a little toothless guy. He's wonderful. All right, guys, we got a couple donations to read. We've got Jennifer. Thank you so much for your donation, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Rebecca, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, Priscilla, thank you for your four dollar donation, Priscilla. No teeth. No, he's no teeth. That's right. Not any. All gone. But he still <laughs> doesn't have problems eating. No, he eats a lot. Believe it or not, the to toothless toothless cats can still eat dry food. Um, but he prefers wet food. Mandy needs to be a Valentine's Day Cupid. Yes, I agree. We need to get yes, Mandy back. Mandy. Uh, Brandy, thank you for your trailer donation, Brandy. And Jill also sent money for $2 Tuesday. Thank you so much, Jill. Appreciate you. What happened, Jackie? Um, uh, well, Chester. <laughs> We've had Chester since he was little. Um, he was found at our shelter with a degloved chin. So his little chin was 
I don't know if you know what degloved means, but it's not good. It's not it was pulled. It, the skin was pulled away from the from the muscle and the the bone, and yeah. so it wasn't. Uh, f- yeah, and so it had to be kind of reattached, and it, yeah. uh, his his reattachment was not successful the first or the second or the third time. They so he spent a long time trying to you know incre- no incrementally uh, address those issues. And he's just had some other mouth and dental related issues, yeah. uh, most likely from whatever that injury was that right. happened before he came to us. Yeah. Uh, so he does not have any teeth currently, uh, <laughs> but he does just fine. He is in line for robot dentures, though, so we'll see <laughs> if he ever gets those. Uh, it's go. a long waiting list. What is happening up here? She's trying to play with Dory. Yep. <laughs> did he get a button? He did get a button. He did get a button. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Didn't work, though. <laughs> what's his name that is chester yeah this this guy here is chester really really sweet <laughs> sweet guy love chester very very nice yeah. um so yep all right Poor Chester. that's all right, good guys, um it's about five two we're gonna go see mr dapper dan and larry and miss cecily and carrie if you've been waiting to see carrie you know a couple of you were asking um, but before we go over, let me tell you, because we might drop you just for a second, but my internet connection might drop you. Sometimes we leave you guys after we cross over. So let me tell you, while I've got you here, if you want to get more involved with the Cattery, we go live every Tuesday night. You can come back and do this every Tuesday night. It's a lot of fun. I have a different co-host every time. This is Scott, by the way, in case you are joining late. That's Katie um, over there. He helped found the Cattery, Cattery. Okay, so that's like a big wig over here. That's me. I'm just right by your head. I know. I know. She's so sweet. I love Panama. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody wanted to see her earlier. Oh, come on. Don't go away. I know. And I had trouble changing the phone. Thank you so much, Tabitha. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, guys, we definitely, we go live every Tuesday night. We're on Patreon. If you want to subscribe to the Cowdery, we have behind the scenes stuff that goes up there almost on a daily basis. Um, we have, you know, all, all sorts of fun stuff, including kittens. If you are local and you want to adopt a kitten, that's a good way to get a kitten. Um, another way to get involved is to watch our YouTube channel. We post on there regularly. We have new things that go up there all the time, including videos y'all won't see anywhere else. Those are YouTube only. Um, you can also check us out on TikTok if you're watching on Facebook, or Facebook if you're watching on TikTok. We're also on Instagram. We're also on Facebook. That's everything. Amazon, Amazon has its own oh, yeah. videos. We're and... in Texas. We're yep. in Corpus Christi, Texas. Oh my gosh, Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha, while I have you here, we switched our Cattery TikTok shop to a new shop. So we will, we, should, we still go live on Fridays. We're just on a new shop. So make sure you're following us on the new one. Um, it's the Cattery shop. Because uh, if you want to come shop and hang out with me on Friday, guys, we will go live from the other store. Come hang out with us there. It'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, we, uh, we actually switched the shop over. So last week when we went live, it was like, where is everybody? So yeah. I'm trying to spread the word now. <laughs> the the new cat- one is the, ca- the cattery shop. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we it might be linked in our bio, but if not, then um, we'll have to add it. Uh, it'll be at 11 a.m. on Friday, 11 Central Time. Uh, but yeah, guys, come on back on every Tuesday night. Come coming up every Tuesday. Night. That's right. We love seeing you guys. We have lots of regulars. Um, lots of people make friends here online and talk offline and talk even when we're not around so yeah. it's great we love our community, <laughs> community guys. that's right so we've been trying to grow all right we'll do some we'll do uh donations out here before okay, we go cool. sounds good all right guys we got a couple donations to read i'm just gonna while we're looking at or listening to the donations i'm on facebook showing you the last couple week weeks of adoptions that we've had 21 one week and 32 the next week so that's been very nice January. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Okay guys, we have a couple donations to read before we switch over to the other side and go see Dapper Dan and Laramie and all them. Uh, we have Angela, thank you for your donation, Angela. Uh, Angela sent a $2 donation. Yay, Angela, thank you. Chris Watt sent $4 for Tuesday, thank you, Chris. Uh, Fernanda Vega sent $2 for $2 Tuesday, thank you, Fernanda. Yay! Jasmine Z sent $2 for Tuesday, and Keith Duncan sent $20 for Wow, awesome. Thank you guys so much. If you donate today, thank you so much for donating. Whether it was on the live or earlier, we appreciate every single donation. Everything helps you guys, I promise. Yes, we're going to see Logan. 
That's right. So we're going to cross over from this building to the next building that will change the, the internet router. We may lose you for just, you know, five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. Uh, but don't go away. Hang on. It will come right back. I promise. Yeah. Hang on, guys. We're just going to go across the way. And it is cattery after dark. dark. It is dark here right now. Really, really pretty. Fancy key heart. Pretty lights in the distance. There you go. Beep, beep. After you. And we are in. And we're going to stop with Carrie first. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. I know. She's a wonderful girl. So Carrie has FIP. Um, I'm back. I, I don't know if I ever lost, so I might still get interrupted here. Uh, but Carrie is an FIP positive cat. FIP is a very nasty virus. It's an infection. Uh, it's a mutation of a common virus. And, and this, there we go. Okay. I think I'm back. Finally. Sorry about that. That was really extended. Surprise. There's Katie. There's Carrie. Uh, so FIP is a very nasty virus. Uh, until a couple of years ago, there really was no treatment and it was essentially 100% fatal. Um, since they've got a new medicine out in the last couple of years, it's nearly 100% effective if it's caught early enough and treatable. It is such a nasty virus. It does attack very quickly. Um, and so, you know, obviously not everybody can be saved because you discover too late that it's FIP. Um, but Carrie is responding really, really super well. Can we see her eyes? Um, there you go. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. They're clearing up. There's actually different forms of FIP. There's abdominal, there's neurological, there's, uh, just a whole bunch of, there's a whole family of it now that we understand more about it. Um, and she's doing really super well. And here's Dan. Dan is trying to get out of his, um, clothing. No, Dan. Oh yeah. He's all twisted up. Yep. Um, so this is Dapper Dan. He is our handsome receptionist. What's Hello, baby. I know. What did you do? <laughs> Took your sled off. You can see Dan. Here he is. Here's Come Dapper in. Dan. Yay. <laughs> he says, I know you were playing with wand toys. I know. I can <laughs> smell them. Where's my wand toy? Mm -hmm. I can get it. I'll get him one. That's okay. Yeah, his diaper's coming off. Yeah. Sir, you're a hot mess. Oh, there's Laramie. He is a hot mess. So this is Dapper Dan. He came to the shelter. He had some injuries. Uh, we have been able to treat almost all of them. Uh, but as you can see, his back two legs are both paralyzed. <laughs> um, but he, d he does get around just fine. Uh, he plays. He runs. Uh, he has a really good time. He has a very sweet life. Uh, he has his own uh, TikTok okay. series, and lots of people know and love Dapper Dan. Um, and so please look at some of those videos if you want to laugh. Um, every he's, Friday, y'all. Every Friday we post him. Uh, he is an interesting cat uh, and just really, really sweet. And just one of those, you know, cats with special needs that is just somehow super sweet, uh, overcoming it all. So we love him, uh, and he loves his wand toys. <laughs> blue is his color. I agree. He looks so handsome in blue. Mm -hmm. I love him in every color. Yep. He's such a handsome There you go. So there's Dan, and he's playing. Um, wheelchairs don't work well for uh, these guys for a whole number of reasons. Uh, we did, we've done a podcast on it. We've, we've done some different series on it, so I won't really dive into it here. Uh, but suffice it to say that uh, we have worked with him, and he uh, does best in his sled. <laughs> Um, and gets getting himself around, so we love it. All right. Ah, uh, who else do we need? To... We got Laramie up here. Oh yeah. Hi, Laramie. Laramie's an FIP survivor. He is. He's a survivor. I'm a survivor. Um. He doesn't want to play. He's like, no, I'm chilling right now. I don't want yeah. to play. Look at that double chin. There you go. Handsome boy. This is Alpha. Alpha had neurological FIP. Oh, yeah. Uh, for those of you that may remember, um, she could not really walk. She could not really get herself around. Yeah, um, certainly could not too. get up and down into anything of, you know, even just a couple inches of a step up was just way too much for her. Um, and Alpha has just really rebounded. Uh, the medicine has really cleared that up. So we love it. 
And we have a sleeping princess. So I'm going to show you the sleeping princess. There's Princess Cecily. She is on some bed rest right now, but she's doing really well. She does get out um, of the cage. She does get dressed. She does move around. She does have a really sweet life. Um, but right now she is trying to recuperate and heal from uh, some of her injuries. That's just taking some extra time. Aww. She does not have any back legs. She is a double amputee back there. She's bowel and bladder incontinent. Um, she's and out. so she's got some, got some <laughs> things, but she is a super, super sweet kitty. Uh, she has her own Facebook page. She has her own calendar. Um, she has more TV appearances than anybody at the shelter put together. Um, yeah. so yeah, she is a wonderful, wonderful kitty. Here's Dewey and Logan, also FIP survivors. Hi Dewey and Logan. Look how cute Dewey is. Dewey's yeah. the big tabby and Logan's the white and orange. Yep. Um, we actually do have merchandise of Mr. Logan, if you like Logan. And Logan, if you're not following Dapper Dan's um, saga, he is Dan's lawyer. So go ahead and go check that out, because you're probably going to I hope you laugh. And this I is laugh. Raptor. I laugh making them. Hi, Raptor. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. There you go. They're all put up for the night. Uh, we are, uh, you know, closing up for the night, but the, they don't spend their time in the cage. They, no, get, they out, get out. They, uh, they run. All, everything you see, they run all over. Uh, so, uh, final look, Chad. Chad is a former feral cat right here. He's reformed. He's reformed. He's become socialized. He wants to show you his butt. The sleeping cat, that is Princess Cecily. Yep. I am Raptor in a Batman voice, yes. They do stay by themselves, yep. There you go. Hi, Cecily. She's all stretched have. out. So. We usually have between 130 to 180 babies. Yep. Sometimes more. Sometimes more. And when it's kitten season, yep. we have actual babies. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she does have Instagram. She has Instagram and Facebook and a yep. Facebook group. Yep. So thank you guys so much for all of your donations tonight. Thank you guys for just coming and being here. Thank, bye, Heather. Uh, thank you guys for participating and joining us in our live. Um, I'm sorry if I missed your comments. I'll try and go back and uh, read them later on Facebook and respond to them as I can. So really enjoyed being with you guys tonight. We thank will be you. back next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Yep, we'll be, at, we'll be here on Tuesday. We'll also be here Friday on TikTok, y'all, if you want to come hang out on Friday. We'll be at the Cattery Shop page. So make sure you're following us on our new TikTok shop. That is the place shop now. We, we split it up. We split up. So come join us over there, too. Do you want to tell about this before we go? Sure. This is Princess Cecily. It's her royal portrait. Um, when was this? 2021? Yeah, I'm trying to get it so that light's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's her official royal portrait um, that I did for Cecily, for Sam, for, for Christmas. Right, Christmas? Yeah. I think it's yes. Christmas. But yeah. Yep. That's Ro Princess Cecily's official royal <laughs> portrait. Um, so just amazing. So one of my favorite things I've ever done yeah. in my whole life. Yep. <laughs> All right. So we are out. I'm gonna turn this around. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Me. We really appreciate having you guys, seeing you. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you for everything every week. We really appreciate it. We love having you in our community. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Have a good night.